can we positively impact our thyroid and hormone health naturally with healthy lifestyle choices and diet? Are there some are there some simple, easy things, changes and shifts that we can do today? And if so, what what are some? Yes, a hundred percent. So I always get this question: Do I need medication? What if I want to do this naturally? Mm-hmm. So I say, okay. Here's the plan. If we want to do it naturally, you just have to be a little bit more strict, right? And a little more cognizant of what goes into your body and how you are living. So number one, like we just talked about stress and toxins, you have to do your part to eliminate the toxins in your environment. Getting rid of the Glade plugins, throw out the bath and body works lotions that you're slathering on yourself, Quit burning the scented candles. I mean, we could go, you don't, don't microwave in plastic. All of those external things that you can do. You know, you're getting the air purifier. You're getting some plants in your house. You're checking your EMF exposure. And then one other layer is, okay, what's going into your body? So if you're eating the standard American diet and you're eating like garbage, that's going to create a level of inflammation that nothing else can combat. It doesn't matter if you live in a perfect environment. If you're putting crap in, that is how your body will function. It'll function like crap. So changing that, and like we said about gluten, you have to eliminate gluten. You have to sleep. You have to sleep. And we always, we, 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 even I am guilty. I don't talk about sleep enough on my podcast. It's just, you know, you, you assume people know, but they don't. And then I talk with a patient and they're like, yeah, I'm only getting five hours. I'm like, well, that's a problem because that is going to keep you into uh, in that high stress state. It's going to keep that autoimmune response going. Your antibodies will never go down. So even things like that. And then there's the supplementation layer. You have to support your own body's innate intelligence to heal. And in order to do that, you might have to take supplements and that's okay because there are certain some, and I always tell patients this too, we are going to use things that are therapeutically important. I'm not going to give you 50 supplements and send you home and you have no idea why you're taking them. You're going to be taking specific things that support the body's process to lower inflammation, to lower insulin, and to support your own immune system because your immune system is smart. It's not confused like your soldiers are. And your immune system can say, okay, everybody, chill out. Soldiers in your barracks, you're not going out anymore. (laughs) We're supporting this person. They're going to live an optimal life, okay? Good. And when you support your own innate intelligence, it's amazing what your body can do. 